Cause like I feel like the only place where I feel safe like nowadays, like these days, is like on stage, like in front of all these witnesses. Um, mainly because I owe Victoria's Secret a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm sick, um, which is kind of a relief to me because I was feeling really ill. I mean, yeah, like I had a headache yesterday and feeling very sluggish. And I don't know if anyone else feel gets this way, but when I like get symptoms of flu or cold, I feel really grateful because then it's like, I feel like I'm gonna get through it, like when I start coughing and stuff like that. Yesterday I did the comedy and um, it went really well actually, like I bombed really hot, like, which I think is like really good because my first time I did comedy, I did really well, like everyone laughed and as I said in yesterday's video, it was like, I had rehearsed a lot and written a lot. But I've been like reading a lot about comedy and like listening a lot to comedians talk and like I feel like a big part of being a stand-up comedian is like bombing a lot is like you know not getting the reaction that you hoped for from a crowd. So I think it was like a good experience for me, especially because yesterday's video was about like fear of failure and there's no bigger fear for a comedian or for someone who's trying to do comedy to stand in front of an audience that's not laughing. So that was like a really good experience for me because, um, yeah, I didn't, it wasn't that scary. And it was like embarrassing to like try to say a joke and people don't laugh. But I had like such a supportive crowd and it was like a crowd of my colleagues, mainly poets. Why I spend so much time with poets? I'm only like realizing in this video that like almost everyone I hang out with is a poet. Um, is very distressing <laughs> JK um, so I think like I because I had such a small crowd and such a supportive crowd um, I was able to like try a lot of jokes that I hadn't rehearsed try a lot of jokes that I hadn't like fully fleshed out in fact at some point I was just like reading off the notes of my phone and like <laughs> reading these like half written jokes that I had and just to see like which ones have like potential and which ones have the you know could possibly be funny one day um, if I worked at them. So that's really good. And I got a gig. Someone um, uh, offered to hire me to do comedy at the end of April. So that's something for me to work towards. I like to have like a bit of a goal, like a, a distant thing that I'm working towards. Um, and like this okay yeah so uh, not much else I think I talked to my friends on the phone so I got to speak Satsana I try to make an effort to call someone from my country at least like three times a week just so I can have someone to speak Satsana to whether it's my dad or my mom or my friends uh, it's been like a really good day oh I listened to this podcast about the use of children in Cold War propaganda and how the image of children was used both by like the US and the USSR to elicit certain like emotions in the mass about the Cold War. So that was interesting. Um, otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow and thank you for watching. And oh yeah, happy Valentine's Day. If you have someone that um, you have a romantic relationship, treat them gently and treat them kindly. And if you are unattached, then treat yourself kindly and show love to your friends and family and whatever else you want. Um, I think any reason to celebrate love is like amazing because love is the most beautiful thing I think. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching. Come with up! What are you doing? This is how I live.